I'm Steve Canopy, owner and operator of the F-4 Phantom Simulator. You know, there's a little fighter pilot in all of us. Unless you're in the military, the chances of you flying a real military simulator are rare. Very rare. Now that you've accepted this challenge, it's time to get the fighter pilot that's in you in the flight simulator. Next, we're going to start the instructions. Our backseat person will have to place her left foot in the step. She'll climb in like she's getting onto a horse and step on the seat and then slide into her position. I'm going to do the same. And once I'm down, we'll put our headsets on and we'll be almost ready for flight. While we're on the ground, we have to use our rudder pedals for nose wheel steering. So, on the floor are our rudder pedals. I push left to go left and right to go right. The next step is to push your throttles all the way forward to the maximum power position. The power indicator on the screen will now indicate maximum thrust. The numbers inside the box on the left side of the screen is your airspeed indicator. Before reaching 250 miles an hour, you need to retract the landing gear by placing the landing gear handle in the up position. The small red numbers at the bottom of the screen indicate your altitude above ground level. To make the aircraft pull up into a climb, smoothly pull the control stick towards you. Now to stop the airplane from increasing its rate of climb, smoothly place the stick back into the center position. To make the airplane go down, gently push the stick forward toward the instrument panel. To roll the aircraft to the right, simply move your stick to the right. The farther that you move the stick, the more you will increase the aircraft's rate of roll. To stop the roll, simply place the stick back into the center position. To roll to the left, simply push your stick to the left position. To stop the roll, place your stick back into the center position. A left hand turn will be a combination maneuver of rolling to the left and then pulling back on the stick. But before you go into your turn, remember to push the throttles to maximum power. Next, push the stick to the left until the aircraft is rolled onto its side. Once the airplane is moved onto its side, you will place the stick back to the center position to keep the airplane in a sideways attitude. Next, you will pull the stick toward you. As long as you keep the airplane sideways, the further you pull the stick back, the faster the aircraft will conduct a left-hand turn. To stop the left-hand turn, place the stick back to the center position, then move the stick to the right until the aircraft is level, then place the stick back to the center position. Also remember to pull back the engine throttles so that you do not overspeed the aircraft. When you exit the simulator, please remember to place the landing gear handle in the down position, pull the throttles back, and place your headset on the panel next to the throttles. If you'd like to get a recording of your flight, be sure you purchase our DVD before you fly.